something fishy is definitely going on right now as bitcoin peaks below as bitcoin peaks above an all-time high before the happening the first time that this has ever happened now everyone wants to know you were wrong ski you got it wrong this time what is the update well don't worry we're going to address it in this video as well as i'm going to outline every scenario that i see possible and the action that i will be taking but let's not be so confident as to where we stand because the, ladies and gentlemen there are warning signs all around us such as but not limited to instagram and facebook went down at&t went down jeff bezos and other billionaires are selling their stocks they sell at the bottom, right? As well as fear and greed got up to 90. As well as the fear and greed got up to 90. We're sitting at 86 currently. And if we look at the charts, the RSI on the daily is also at 90, which this measures the strength of how hot a market is. So there are warning signs all around us. Let's not get too carried away, but still I'm going to outline it three different scenarios on what I see as possible and the action that I will be taking either way we go because it's not I know that I'm known for my calls and I know that I'm known for predicting but that's not really what it's about it's really about outlining scenarios and taking action based on those scenarios so here is the different scenarios that I see playing out scenario number one is this is just a wick higher and there seems to be a lot of evidence of that right now. I'm not even going to say that I'm leaning towards it, but um, with how hot the market is, how high the greed is, the billionaires selling, outages everywhere. Um, yes, we did wick into a new all-time high, but the bodies have not been there yet. So it could very well be a fake out, and we just went a little bit higher to wreck uh, some people that have been here for a long time. Uh, that would be scenario number one. And in that scenario, all would be normal and it would be the norm to come back and back test at a minimum of 50K, 48K. Uh, but realistically, we could still get into the high 30s, mid 30s. Um, all that would be on the table. Um, for me personally, this is the normal scenario for us to back test at a minimum of 48K. Uh, to 50k that would be what would be normal because in every single iteration before this we always come up and then back test the prior range we always come up and then back test the prior range this is the 2013 bull run parabolic rise crash down 80 percent retrace back test the prior range trade sideways before going up and off and away again same thing back in 2017 parabolic rise crash down 80 percent retrace to the 618702 back test the prior range trade sideways before the real bull market starts so this is the normal scenario for us to back test before the happening and even a little bit after the happening that is scenario number one and if that happens nothing about my thesis has changed this it's a normal bull market and my price prediction for bitcoin is two hundred and seven thousand. i think it would take us into mid to late 2025 that's scenario number one which has been my thesis all along now scenario number two is that I'm dead wrong. And we're not going to back test this, right? We're not going to back test it. And we just rip right through a new all time high and we go into price discovery now, right before a the happening starts. And in that scenario, I see two separate things playing out. And for me personally, the action that I will be taking is i will be playing it as if both scenarios are happening a bull case and a bear case i'm going to personally be taking the action for both so while yes i was buying 16,000, 17,000, 18,000, and my whole community is sitting on a 2.5x on bitcoin because i said we would go to 52k or 55k so while yes did i miss an additional 20 percent I'm sorry, you missed an additional 17%. While yes, we missed an additional 17%, we did get a 2.5X. Let's not forget about that. 
So if we rip right through here, there are two scenarios and I will be taking action based on both. There's a bear case, which would mean scenario number one is if we rip right through here, that would mean that the bull market is going to be exponentially shorter in length and exponentially shorter in height. And I think we would be looking at a $88,000 Bitcoin as high as 120,000. That would be scenario number one. And I think you have to take profit, at least some based off of that scenario, which that's what I'll be doing. I'll be taking like 20% at these ranges in case it really is 25 percent to 35 percent i haven't quite decided yet but i'll be taking some at the bear case scenario and then there's a bull case scenario of this really is different and it is like the gold rush when the gold etf happened and we are going to go parabolic and in that scenario bitcoin would go higher and longer and it would be exponentially and i think you have to play for that as well so I think you have to play for the bull case and I think you have to play for the bear case if, keyword, if we don't get rejected here, which if I'm being honest with you guys, there are lots of signs that something fishy is brewing, especially how hot we are, especially AT&T, especially Google, Facebook, uh, the billionaires selling their stocks. There is something brewing. My spidey senses are tingling. But it's not about what I think. It's not about what I want to happen. It's about what happens and about making the most amount of money possible with having the least downside risk. That's what it's about. And for me, this is the scenarios. These are the three scenarios. Scenario number one, normal bull market. That means about a $207,000 Bitcoin. And we're going to go into mid 2025. Scenario number two, a shortened bull market, which means it would be about 88,000 Bitcoin as high as 120 and it would be into early 2025 would be the end of the bull market i think that that's possible scenario number three is an exponential bull market i will be playing all three of these it doesn't matter which way we go because i am set up prepared right now for what the scenario is but if we get a pullback to forty thousand dollars let me tell you ladies and gentlemen that is the normal thing to happen. That's what's happened every single time. It doesn't mean it will happen this time, but it's what's happened every single time before. So if it happens, do not, I repeat, do not sell your bags to these whales. That is what they want you to do. It is a constant game that they play off of your greed. They play off of your fear and they end up winning when you play emotions. What you should do instead is have a plan in place, take action regardless of where the price goes, and follow me for more, you savages. You are now in the presence of a...